Hi everyone, today we are gonna be diving into the critical situation unfolding in the Reykjanes Peninsula. The Svartsengi Geothermal Power Plant, uh, a key part of Icelandic energy infrastructure, is now under threat from an imminent volcanic eruption. Svartsengi is more than just a power plant, it's a lifeline for Iceland. The geothermal facility not only powers homes for over 20,000 people, but also heats the famous Blue Lagoon. It's situated dangerously close to the current volcanic activity on Reykjanes Peninsula, making it a focal point of concern as magma continues to move beneath the surface. Over the past week, seismic activity around Svartsengi has escalated. The Icelandic Meteorology Office has laid out several scenarios that could unfold, each with potentially catastrophic consequences for the plant and the surrounding areas. Scenario 1, an eruption could start between Stora, Skogafet and Sundnjukar, similar to previous eruptions. The most likely precursor would be a localized swarm of small earthquakes, rapid ground deformation and pressure changes in the nearby boreholes. The terrifying reality here is the short warning time, but the warning time would be less than 30 minutes. If this scenario unfolds, Lava could reach Grindavíkuvegur, road, the road nearby Thorbjörn within one and a half hours. Just to give you an example where that is located, my live stream camera is on the mountain Thorbjörn. And they could approach Grindavíkuvegur near Svartsengi within three hours, even breaching the protective barriers, which they have been laying out for the past past days, past weeks, past months, and they still keep on laying more groundwork there to try to possibly keep the power plant safe. Scenario 2. The eruption would occur south of Sundnjukar near Hagafell or further south. While this might offer a longer warning period due to the magma, magma's journey southwards before breaking the surface, the potential outcome are equally concerning. Lava could reach Nesvegur and Suðurstrandsvegur road in just one and a half hours, potentially cutting off escape routes from Grindavík within six hours. Even though most people have evacuated and there are just few people in Grindavík left that are working fish or any or similar industry like that, in this scenario, if lava reaches the sea, rapid cooling could cause a dangerous gas emission and explosive reaction, making the condition deadly within 500 meters radius. Additionally, this scenario could cause a significant ground fracturing in Grindavik, which, with the possibility of lava emerging within the town itself, which in my opinion is still the better option. Uh, if the option is Grindavik or the power plant, I'm probably going to choose Grindavik just because of uh, how that's being handled right now. Most people can sell their apartments to a government entity and buy just somewhere else. Even though it's a horrible experience that the town that you lived in and, and had your life in uh, is going under lava. It's, it's still probably better for the spreadsheet of Iceland to have it be ra Grindavik rather than the power plant because if the power plant goes under probably the Blue Lagoon does as well if the power plant goes under and gets ruined either way the Blue Lagoon is ruined doesn't really matter the Blue Lagoon gets its water from the wastewater of the power plant and right now at this point tourism has been the biggest export for the past years and you can only guess how much that would impact our economy if the Blue Lagoon would go. With these scenarios in mind, the stakes are very high for Svartsengi. Authorities have been racing to construct barriers and implement contingency plans. But the reality is that if either of these scenarios unfolds, the plant could be in grave danger. They have now acquired some water pump pumps from nearby countries. I think it's UK 
and Norway, possibly Germany. I'm not really sure where they're exactly coming from, but the idea is here that they are they'll start pumping the water from Blue Lagoon itself onto the hot lava that is flowing, slowing the flowing lava and possibly hopefully stopping the lava in its track at some point and the lava would then diverge to another direction because right now if it goes in scenario one it's gonna go uh it basically had because from the last eruptions the crust has become so thick that it has almost like a clear path downwards to the geothermal plant so they are trying to do everything that they can to protect the plant at this point but as of now we are waiting it's a waiting game they think that this is gonna happen soon i agree the coming hours and days will be critical as experts continue to monitor the region i'll of course keep you updated as more information becomes available so make sure if you haven't already subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay informed and if you if you want to watch uh the live stream it's on my channel i have two live stream one is just the camera from the potential area uh, of scenario one which is the most likely one and then the other live stream is basically the same camera but with all the graphs so if you want to if you want to be informed about how the graph is growing showing if you want to see how um, how many earthquakes are happening in real time you can head over to that live stream and and see that for yourself Anywho, uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.